Debre Hayamim Aleph, First Chronicles, Chapter Five. As for the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, he was the firstborn. But because he profaned his father's bed, his birthright was given to the sons of Yosef, son of Israel, so that the genealogy is not listed according to the birthright. For Yehuda prevailed over his brothers, and from him came a ruler, although the birthright was Joseph's. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanok and Palu, Chetron and Carmi, the sons of Yoel, Shemaiah his son, Gog his son, Shemai his son, Mika his son, Reiah his son, Baal his son, Beera his son, whom Tiglath Pileser, sovereign of Asher, took into exile. He was leader of the Reubenites. And his brothers by their clans, when the genealogy of their generations was registered, the chief Ye'el and Zechariahu, and Bela, son of Azaz, son of Shema, son of Yuel, who dwelt in Aroer, as far as Nebo, and Baal Maon. And he dwelt eastward as far as the entrance of the wilderness from the river Euphrates, because their livestock had increased in the land of Gilad. And in the days of Shaul, they fought against the Hagrites, who fell by their hand, and they dwelt in their tents all over the eastern part of Gilad. And the children of God, Gad, dwelt next to them in the land of Bashan, as far as Salka. Yoel was the chief, Shapham the next, then Ya'anai, and Shaphat in Bashan, and their brothers of their father's house, Mikael, and Meshulam, and Sheba, and Yorai, and Yakan, and Ziah, and Eber, seven. These were the children of Abichail, son of Huri, son of Yerovah, son of Gilad, son of Mikael, son of Yeshishai, son of Yachdo, son of Buz, Ahi, son of Abdiel, son of Guni, was chief of their father's house. And they dwelt in Gilad, in Bashan, and in its villages, and in all the open lands of Sharon with their borders. All these were registered by genealogies in the days of Yotham, sovereign of Judah, and in the days of Yerobam, sovereign of Israel, the sons of Reuben and the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manasseh, had 42,760 brave men, men able to bear shield and sword, to shoot with the bow, and skilled in battle, going out to the army. And they fought against the Hagrites, in Yotur, in Naphish, and Nodab. And they were helped against them, and the Hagrites were given into their hand, and all who were with them. For they cried out to Elohim in the battle, and he answered their prayer, because they put their trust in him. And he and they took away their livestock, 50,000 of their camels, and 250,000 of their sheep, and 2,000 of their donkeys, also 100,000 of their men. For many fell dead, because the battle was of Elohim, and they dwelt in their place until the exile. And the children of the half-tribe of Manasseh dwelt in, this, in the land. They increased from Bashan to Baal Hermon, that is, to Sinir, or Mount Hermon. And these were the heads of their father's houses, Ephor, and Yishi, and Eliel, and Azrael, and Yirmeya, Odava, Odavia, and Yadiel, brave, mighty brave men, men of name, and heads of their father's houses. But they trespassed against the Elohim of their fathers, and whored after the mighty ones of the peoples of the land, whom Elohim had destroyed before them. So the Elohim of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pul, sovereign of Asher, given the spirit of tiglath Pileser, sovereign of Asher. And he took the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh into exile and brought them to Chalal and Chabor and Hara and the river of Gozan until this day.